Hi everybody, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday with me Laura and this week I'm going to show you how to make my little gingerbread man. Okay, so we're going to be using some brown yarn obviously for our little gingerbread man and this is actually a worsted weight yarn, so this is an Aran weight yarn, it's a little bit thicker than what I normally use but you can use any yarn that you like, there's no particular rules. Also going to need a little bit of black, this is just for the eyes and his buttons and I've also chosen to use a little bit of sparkly uh, red yarn as well which you can do a little scarf with at the end but these sort of accessory colours are completely optional. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. So let's get our yarn needle ready. And the hook size we're going to be using is a 3.5 millimeter E4 crochet hook to go with that. But you can use any hook size that is suitable for the yarn that you are using. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so we're going to start off with our brown yarn. And uh, first thing we're going to do is we are going to do a chain four loop. So we're going to do our little slip knot. Slip knot to get our first loop. We're going to chain four. So chain one, two, three, and four. So we're going to chain four. We're going to put our hook into our first chain that we did. Just pop our hook into there. Bring the yarn through that first chain and bring it straight through the loop on your hook and that creates a little loop of your four chains joined at the beginning and the end and in the middle of course is a small hole. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to chain one and that just uh, we're not going to count that as a stitch we're just going to have that as a little bit of leverage. So chain one and we're going to do 10 double crochet into the center of this four chain loop. Now this pattern's in US terminology, so we're going to yarn over for our double crochets. So be careful not to put your uh, hook into that first chain, which can look quite big. You need to find that center hole, okay, that central one. Then bring the yarn through the middle of the loops, then just wrapping it around the chains, do a double crochet. So pull through two, through two, like so. And we're going to do 10 of those. So that's one, back into the middle again. Just wrapping it around your four chains. Do another double crochet, so that's two. Then the centre gets more noticeable, gets more obvious to see the more you do. So three, If you're new to crochet and you're unsure how to do not really conversant with the double crochet then I do recommend checking out my beginner stitch tutorials on my playlists and uh, getting yourself familiar with the double crochet. So how many are we done? We've done two, four, six, eight. I need to do two more. Nine and one more. Back into that centre. Pull through two, pull through two, ten, so two, four, six, eight, nine, and ten. Then find your very first double crochet stitch at the top, put your hook into there, a slippy yarn. Bring the yarn through that first double crochet stitch and straight for the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. Okay, so you should have a stitch count of ten by the end of that first round. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to double up our stitch count. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little chain one. Again, that is, we're not going to count that as a stitch. And then we're going to do two double crochet into each stitch round. But we're going to start off in the same stitch we just slip stitched into. So we're going to yarn over, go back into that same stitch again where you just did your slip stitch, and do two double crochets. So we do one, two, pull through two, then do another one in the same stitch. Two. Okay, so we're going to do two double crochet 
into each stitch around. So I'm going to go straight into the next stitch and do two double crochet. One and another one in the same stitch, two. And then two double crochet in the next one. And basically you're turning your stitch count goes from 10 up to 20 because you're doing two double crochets into each stitch. So you're doubling up. Okay, so two double crochet into each stitch around back to the beginning. Okay, so just coming up to the very last stitch, doing two double crochet in there. One and another one in the same stitch. Okay, so I've done two double crochet into each stitch around. You can see I've got two in each stitch and it doubles your stitch count up to 20. And then what you want to do is to find that first double crochet that you did and do a little slip stitch into there. Straight through the loop on your hook. Okay, so you should have a stitch count of 20. And that is the end of our little gingerbread man's head. And now we're gonna move on to his arms. So what we're going to do straight away is we're going to chain seven. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so we chain seven. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do one double crochet in our second stitch from hook. Now I know this, if you're used to crochet and the uh, normal rules, we wouldn't normally do a double crochet in our second stitch from hook, but we are for this pattern because it creates a nice little curve on the end. So we don't count the loop on our hook. There's our first stitch. There's our second. We put our hook into there and do a double crochet. So there are no rules with crochet, only techniques. <laughs> I'm going to do one double crochet in the remaining five chains as well. So we're going to yarn over and do one double crochet in the next chain. It doesn't really matter how you work into the chain. I just prefer just to go onto that one bit of yarn. It's just a habit I have um, from making shoes because if you work onto one bit of yarn, it makes it easier to see the chain again in case you need to work into it again. So that's why I do it that way. So one double crochet into each chain back to the head. And you should end up with a stitch count of six double crochets. Okay, and we've got one more, one last one. Okay, so you should have a stitch count of six. One, the last one's right on the end there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet in the next stitch on the main head. So find that next stitch there. There's the one where we slip stitched into. Find the next one and do a single crochet. Like that. Then what we're going to do is we are just literally going to turn our work. So just turn your work over so you can work back in the opposite direction along the arm. Okay, so we're just going to turn it over. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do one single crochet to the last stitch. So this one here, that stitch there, is your single crochet when you joined it to the head. So you want to skip that and find the first stitch on the arm. Okay, so skip that stitch, find this next one, do a single crochet one and single crochet in the next stitch two single crochet in the next stitch three single crochet in the next stitch four and a single crochet in the next stitch five okay so you should do one single crochet in the first five and then the very last stitch which ends up being right on the corner just going to do a little slip stitch into there, that sixth stitch. Okay, a little slip stitch there. Then we're going to turn our work. Let's turn your work again. So we're going to go back in the opposite direction. We're going to skip our slip stitch there. So that little first stitch there's your slip stitch. Skip that and do a slip stitch in the next stitch. And you should do one slip stitch in the next five again. So it's one next stitch two next stitch 
three all slip stitches three next stitch four and the last one one slip stitch in that fifth one five okay all slip stitches back to the uh, beginning then what we're going to do is we're going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch on the main head part so we're going to yarn over find the next stitch along which is here and we're going to do two half double crochets so one and another one in the same stitch okay so we're going to do two half double crochets in the same stitch okay we're going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch as well so pull through all three yarn over and go back into the same stitch do another one okay so you've done two half double crochets in the next two stitches on the main body and if we turn it around there you can start to see his little arm and then we just need to do the other arm so for the other arm we're going to do a similar thing we're going to chain seven so one two three four five six and seven and we're going to do the same thing again so we're going to do one double crochet in our second chain from hook so we don't count the loop on a hook there's the first one there's the second so in that second chain down we're going to do one double crochet so pull through two pull through two then we're going to do one double crochet in the remaining five chains back to the head okay so one double crochet the next stitch in the next chain, double crochet in the next chain. You should end up with six double crochets by the end. So you've got one, two, three. Next chain, double crochet, four. Next chain, one double crochet, five. And the last one, last chain, six. So one double crochet back to the head. And then we are going to do a slip stitch in the next stitch this time. We're gonna do a slip stitch. So put your hook into there, to that next stitch on the main head. Just do a little slip stitch. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna turn our work and do the same thing again. We're gonna do going to skip that little slip stitch we did there. We need to find the next stitch. I'm going to do one single crochet in the next five. Okay, so single crochet in there, one. Next stitch, two. Next stitch, three. Next stitch, four. Next stitch, four. Five, and then the very last stitch which is right on the end here you can sort of pop it out to see we're going to do a little slip stitch okay a little slip stitch on the end then we're going to turn our work again skip that first stitch which is your slip stitch then in the next stitch we're going to do a slip stitch and we're going to slip stitch back to the head it should be five stitches so one next stitch two and they're all slip stitches next stitch three next stitch four next stitch five okay and then we're just going to slip stitch in the next stitch on the main head to join slip stitch there and there is our second arm of our little gingerbread man now what we're going to do is we're going to work on his legs but what we're actually going to do is we're going to slip stitch down to this area here okay so you see this last double crochet on the arm here this last one here there's the half double crochets this double crochet here we're going to just sort of slip stitch down that to get to the other side so what we're going to do as neatly as we can is we're just going to put our hook anywhere along there and then just bring the yarn from the back through any part of the yarn along this 
double crochet just as neatly as you can it doesn't have to be perfect bringing the yarn from the back just slip stitch down it takes about three slip stitch slip stitches so you could even just go through the gap in between the half double crochets and the double crochet if you want. But you basically just want to do some about three slip stitches just down to the bottom. Okay. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch. Okay. So when you get down there, that there's the last double crochet that we've just slip stitched down the side of. Stitch above there. We are just going to do a little slip stitch in there. Okay, and that's about one, two, three, four stitches from the end. One, two, three, four. And then what we're going to turn our work. Let's turn your work so we can work in the opposite direction. And we are going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, which is basically going to be the stitch um, at the bottom of that double crochet probably can't really see very much anymore so there's our double crochet Let's see if we can count them one two three four five six so that's six one there little stitch just next to it I'm going to put our hook into there as neatly as you can and do a single crochet I haven't really gone into that very well let's try that again We have to guesstimate a little bit around here. Okay, we're going to do a little single crochet. The main thing you want to do is you want to leave um, about four stitches, obviously, in the middle that look quite obvious. You can see you've got those one, two, three, four in the middle, right in the middle, quite central. You want to make sure that you can now clearly see, after that single crochet, you want to be able to clearly see those four stitches. Because then what we're going to do is we're going to do one half double crochet in the next three stitches. So we're going to yarn over, put a hook into there, and do a half double crochet in that next stitch. We'll do a half double crochet in the next stitch. Then we're going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch. It's probably the hardest bit, this sort of slip stitching and stuff. Okay, so one half double crochet in the next three, which should take you up to the beginning of the next arm. And then that very last stitch, we're just going to do a single crochet. And then we're just going to slip stitch somewhere along the arm. It gets a bit chaotic here because you've got all slip stitches down here already. So just do it as neatly as you can. Try and find something to slip stitch into. Just to neaten that off to level it down so it should look a little something like that just like a little bulge in the middle and then what we're going to do is we are going to then work the legs so to work the legs we're going to chain nine so one two three four five six seven eight and nine chain nine and it's the same thing again we're going to do one double crochet in our second chain from hook so one and two do one double crochet in that second chain from your hook then do one double crochet in each chain back to the beginning and you should have eight double crochets so two next chain three Next chain four, next chain five, next chain six, next chain seven. And then the last one, eight, that last chain. So you should have eight double crochets. And then what you want to do is we're going to do one single crochet. You want to make sure we're facing this direction, so the centre of the body. And you want to find the next stitch along. So this stitch here, 
this one we're going to do a single crochet in there so you should see like a little stitch there and that was our little slip stitch the next stitch along in that single crochet we are going to do a single crochet like so and then we're going to turn our work and skip that single crochet that first stitch we we'll do one single crochet in the next stitch we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch along to the last one so very similar to the arms one single crochet in each stitch along to the last stitch should be seven i think all in all one two three five yeah six and seven so you do seven single crochets along there then the very last one which is always tucked on the end if you turn it over I'm going to do a little slip stitch in that last one. And same thing as we did for the arms, we're going to turn, skip the slip stitch, and then in the next stitch, we're going to do a slip stitch. We're going to slip stitch back to the beginning. It should be seven of them. So one, two, next stitch, three, four slip stitches. Four, five, six, and the last one, seven, seven. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find the next two stitches, which should be right in the middle of your gingerbread man, and we're going to double crochet those two together so we're going to double crochet them together so we're going to yarn over go into that next stitch bring the yarn through yarn over pull through two as if you've done a normal double crochet but then we stop we yarn over again and go into the next stitch bring the yarn through yarn over pull through two again you end up with three loops yarn over pull through all three and that double crochets two stitches together then we're going to repeat the same thing we did for the leg here we're going to chain nine one two three four five six seven eight and nine chain nine i'm going to do one double crochet in that second chain one two one double crochet in that second chain and we're going to do one double crochet in each chain to the end. You should end up with eight. So one, back to the beginning, two, three, four. Fingers and thumbs. Five. Next one. Six. Seven. And there's that last one. Eight. Okay. Then we need to find the next stitch in the middle, so make sure it's facing this direction. Find that last stitch there and do a single crochet in there to join. My yarn's gone a bit funny, I haven't caught, caught that through properly. There we go. And then we're going to turn our work and go back along his leg again. We're going to skip that single crochet, that first one there, and then the next stitch along we do a single crochet and we're going to do one single crochet each stitch along to the last stitch okay so you're doing single crochets should be to the last stitch so we should be doing seven three four five seven 
very very last stitch on the end we're going to do a slip stitch and same thing as we did before we turn skip the slip stitch find the next stitch and do a slip stitch and we're going to slip stitch back to the beginning there should be seven so one two three Seven, and that's his second leg finished. Then you just need to find somewhere on the corner here, just in between his arm and his leg. Just put your hook through anything as neatly as you can in the corner and do a little slip stitch. That's just to join the end of the round. And there is our little finished gingerbread man. So all that's left to do now is to decorate him. So cut our yarn. Pull that through. I'm just going to hide my tail ends to do that. I'm just going to put them on the back because this is going to be a little tree decoration. You won't really see the back. So sew that to the back. Turn him over. Then to skewer your yarn, you just sew through a few stitches in one direction and then sew back in the opposite direction. then trim the excess. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to do his little eyes and his buttons. Trim this one down. And his little scarf. And he's done. Okay. Okay, so to do his little eyes and the buttons, I'm going to do about two buttons and just two eyes and I'll sew on a little mouse. To do the eyes and the buttons, we just get a little bit of yarn, black yarn. And you want to get, if I can find the end, Want to get some little short lengths like that you don't need very much at all and then we're just going to tie some knots into the center so there's one then we'll do another knot on top okay make sure it lands on top of the other one it creates a little knot lump in the middle and then we're going to sew each end of this little eye, we'll make this his eye to begin with. Let's work out where his eyes are going to be. So I'm just going to go through one bit of of a stitch and then take that off, get the other end, whole fingers and thumbs today. other end and then just go over slightly because you want to catch a little bit of yarn in between so it catches on something like so and then this little eye should stay on the outside <laughs> the little knot should catch on the outside which it seems to have disappeared to the back thank you thank you knot I don't think that's ever happened before until I do it on camera. There we go. There we go. So the little notch should technically catch on the outside. You may want to do three instead of two. And then you just turn it over and then tie it on the back to secure it into place. You may want to hide these tail ends, it's up to you. It depends how neat you want him to look. But I'm just going to tie them on the back for the sake of this video. And then trim down the excess and then you just repeat that for the other eye and then some buttons so I shall do that and then I'll come back and I'll show you um, what to do next okay so I've just repeated that for the other eye and a couple of buttons and then if you want to I'm going to take a longer length and we're just going to sew a little mouth on to our little gingerbread man so start about there leave a little bit of a tail on the back now I'm just going to sew a little mouth as neatly as I can I'm 
You'll probably do a much neater job of this than me. <laughs> As long as he looks happy and a little bit cheeky, maybe. <laughs> Just can't catch me, I'm gingerbread man. There we go. He's got a little smile. That's quite cute. And then on the back, I'm just going to again just tie this into place. Like I said, you might want to do a neater job than me, than I'm doing. I'm just doing this quickly for the sake of this video. And trim off the excess. Okay, so there's his little face and his buttons. And if you want to, you can sew on a little bit of uh, zigzags on his arms and feet. So I'm gonna take a little bit of white yarn as well. This is actually thinner yarn. Um, the This is actually a DK light worsted weight yarn. So is the black actually, that's slightly slightly thinner than the brown. Not that it really matters, but. And then I'm just gonna sew some little zigzags on the end. Going up and down, just so it looks like icing. So you can do that if you want to on the ends of his hands and feet. So I'll just repeat that for the other three limbs and then I shall come back and then we'll just add a little scarf. Okay, so there is our pretty much finished gingerbread man. I've just repeated that for the other limbs. It looks like little bits of icing. All that's left to do now is maybe give him a little scarf if you want to. And I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose some glittery, sparkly uh, yarn. It's quite thin. I'm going to chain about... Chain about 40 or 50, I think. So, just chain about 40 or 50 until you're happy with the length of your scarf. So, one, two. Three. Okay, so I've chained about 50 in the red. And I'm just gonna cut the end. Let that, pull that tight so that knots. Same with that end. And you may wish to just trim down the tail ends. And then I'm just going to put this, put this on him. There you go. So I have to go out of focus briefly. And there we go. He's got his little scarf. And if you want to, you can just add a little extra bit of the glittery red yarn and just sew that for the top of his head. And then you've got something to hang him on the Christmas tree with. But you could also, that's by the centre, you could also use him on the front of a Christmas card if you wanted to. So there we go, I'll tie that onto the tree. You could also stick that onto the front of a plain card and make a very alternative Christmas card. It's entirely up to you. But I hope you enjoyed my little gingerbread man and uh, I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. And like I said, I'll be doing my vlog soon. So if you have any questions you want to ask me, do post them in the comments below and I may just answer them in my video. I'll see you soon. Cheers guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.